10 Rules of British Royal Etiquette Who knew the game Follow the Leader was so practical? Children of British royals have an advantage when it comes to etiquette. It's a great exercise as a child to practice being around the British royals as an adult. When you're in the company of the Queen of England, wait until she sits before sitting. To curtsy or not to curtsy, that is the question when you're around British royalty. Decades ago, it was expected for citizens under their royal reign to curtsy or bow. That has been somewhat relaxed in recent years, so it isn't necessary, although it's still a perfectly fine and respectful gesture. When greeting British royalty, you'll need to give a brief handshake. If you don't have confidence in doing this, practice before you find yourself in an embarrassing situation if you know that there's even a hint of a chance you'll encounter a royal. As you shake hands, make direct eye contact and smile. Being friendly is always in style. What should you do if the Queen of England invites you to an event? There's only one answer to this question, you must go. Unlike other invitations that include a request for RSVP and give you the option of declining, an invitation from the monarchy is more of an order than a question. Even if you don't want to attend, you'll always be able to look back on the experience and brag about it to your kids and grandkids. Before you join anyone in the royal family, practice conversation etiquette and dream up a few easy subjects. Include some basic conversation starters as well as a few answers to simple questions about the weather and other harmless subjects. Don't get into anything that is controversial, such as your views on politics, religion, or other topics that can start a debate. There is no better compliment than an invitation to have tea with British royalty. Brush up on your tea party etiquette before you go and remember that this isn't an all-you-can-eat smorgasbord. It's a time for socializing and sipping and nibbling, not gulping and gorging, your refreshments. You're likely to be served small sandwiches without crust, scones, and other finger foods with your tea. One thing you'll notice if you watch members of the British royalty long enough is that they dress in a modest manner. If you're going to be among them, it's a good idea to follow their lead. Don't sit as long as the queen is still standing. After the royal sits down, go ahead and follow suit. Never be so bold as to touch a royal after the initial handshake, unless she initiates the contact. Only other members of the royal family may place a hand on them, so give them plenty of personal space. Of course, this excludes members of the medical community when they are called on to heal the queen or deliver one of the royal babies. If you give one of the British royals a gift, they must accept it graciously and without argument. Then they must give it to the queen, who determines where it will go. She may choose to let the recipient keep the item, or she might offer it to a respectable charity. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.